Today I wanted to go through the process of what it takes to remove a faucet like this ugly faucet and replace it with this really pretty one. I found the pretty faucet on Amazon, I'll have a link in my description. I started by removing everything under the sink and shutting the water off just underneath my sink. You don't need to turn the water off to the house as long as these pipes are shut off and then you can unscrew the white pipe or the pipe that goes up to the faucet. All of my connections are super tight, so I've needed a plumber's wrench and also a regular wrench to unscrew all the fittings. Then I unscrewed the bolt that was holding the faucet to the sink. And once that's unscrewed, you can go ahead and pull out the old faucet and get ready to put the new one in. This one came with nuts and also with the water lines that will attach to the bottom. So I set this right into the sink and then went underneath the sink with these nuts that came with it and went ahead and attached the faucet to the sink bowl. Once those plumber's nuts are screwed on really tightly, it's time to add the water lines. These are the lines that came with the faucet and I love them because they have blue marked and red marked on the line itself to know which one is the hot water and which is the cold water. I like to use some plumber's tape wrapped around the fitting and then go ahead and attach the line itself and tighten everything down nice and tight with the wrench. Then you can turn the water right back on. I wanted to turn the water on and check for any leaks before I moved on to the sink plug or stopper. I started by undoing the drain. This part is easier than it sounds. Once you unscrew those plumber's nuts and the one that's right underneath the sink holding the stopper in place, you can simply remove the drain right from the bowl of the sink. I did have to use my pliers to remove the rubber gasket holding the drain in place, and then I dropped the new one right into the pipe below. I didn't use any plumber's putty or sealant because this drain is self-sealing, meaning there's a rubber gasket that goes underneath there, and as you tighten on this nut, it tightens everything together in a way that makes it seal up and watertight. Then you can screw together the rest of the P-trap drains back the way they were in the beginning, and that's it. After I'm done installing everything and getting it nice and tight, I like to turn the water on and run it for a while just to make sure that there aren't any leaks underneath. If there were some leaks, I would need to disconnect that section, put on some more plumber's tape, and re-tighten everything up just to make sure that all the connections are sealed really nicely. I do check it a few more times throughout the night and make sure everything's good to go. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can catch some of my other DIYs.